Hey, this is Linus, what's up? You're watching Techline EG and I'm here at IFA Berlin 2017. I'm checking out the brand new LG V30 smartphone. It looks great, it has great specs, but if you want to learn more, stay tuned. Just before we start, this video was made in collaboration with Steven from the Tech Magnet at IFA Berlin 2017. Also, thanks to Martin from the Tech Altar for lending his LG V30 phone. Check out all the links down below the video. Once I first picked the LG V30 up and I read the spec sheet, my first impression was that it was a matured version of the LG G6. The device is well mated and uses metal on the sides and Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and rear. Also, the phone sports an IP68 waterproofing along with the usual mill SED compliance. The phone now has a 6-inch Quad HD Plus P-OLED screen that covers 82% of the front and it uses 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It is HDR10 enabled and it supports always on display. In other words, it looks just great, both indoors and outdoors, and the phone is still quite a compact considering the display size. But it's not the screen that is the main attraction, instead LG is most proud of this latest dual camera. In fact, I just love LG's approach as it has a second wide-angle 13 megapixels camera with a bright f1.9 aperture lens. The main shooter utilizes a 16 megapixel sensor with the brightest aperture on any mobile phone, f1.6. The camera app allows you to take pictures very fast. There are quite a few shooting modes including a full manual mode and a video mode. The latter one has a pretty cool cine effects for video shooters out there. We took quite a few pictures with this phone and the image quality is really good considering the fact that the phone still runs on the pre-release software. There is plenty of detail and the images look great with both main and the wide-angle cameras. The only shortcoming that I noticed is that the exposure and the dynamic range adjustment is not always accurate. The camera does a pretty good job in low light too, thanks to that bright f1.6 aperture lens. The selfies taken with the 5 megapixels front firing camera look pretty detailed and sharp too. <laughs> hey guys, this is a quick front facing camera test on the LG V30. And there's a wide angle button. And so here here Linus can get them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a camera test of the LG V30. With a wide angle camera, I can fit into the shot, so that's a pretty cool phone. Yeah. I'm recording a video in 4K resolution with the brand new LG V30 smartphone that was just released at IFA Berlin 2017. And let me switch to the wide angle camera. That's a super awesome feature if you want to fit a lot of when it comes to the 4K video, it is awesome that it can switch from the regular to the wide-angle camera almost seamlessly. Also, I'm pretty happy with the overall image quality and image stabilization. This is normal Steven. This is wide-angle Steven. Normal Steven. Wide-angle Steven. The LG V30 is a true flagship phone as it has the latest Snapdragon 835 chip that is coupled with 4GB of RAM and it also has 64 or 128GB of storage options that are also expandable via the microSD card slot. During my brief time with this phone, I found it to be responsive and fast, but you will need to deal with that LG skin that is built on top of Android 7.1. As usual to LG's phones, there are quite a few features, various settings, tweaks and customization options to make the phone look your own. I will tell you more about all those features in my full review. Other notable features include a Hi-Fi Quad DAC that was tuned by Bang & Olufsen Play to assure a great sound quality via the headset jack, and also there is a Bluetooth 5 and 3300 mAh battery that supports quick charging feature. Overall, the LG V30 seems to be a really solid, true flagship phone. No word on pricing at this point, but rumors do claim that it will start at $699 US. 
For a more detailed look at the LG V30, subscribe to the Techline HD and follow me on social media for all the latest updates. It was Linus from IFA Berlin 2017 and see you in the next video soon.